This was the sixth edition of the Ugandan National Journalism Awards, organized by the African Center for Media Excellence. The majority of the entries are coming from our print media houses at 33%, television at 28%, online at 21%, and radio at 18%. Again, I see a disparity there because radio is still king within our market. The event converged journalists from all over the country to compete for several grand prizes in various categories. The number of women participating in the Uganda National Journalism Awards is still low. This year, only 19% of participating journalists were women. And uh, it's, uh, from the academia, I think, in all the classes we taught at universities, the women have been the majority, but where they go... Nobody Compared knows. to the previous years, the national broadcaster had more entries and this culminated with the win in the national news category. Sometime last year, we worked on a story about detecting Uganda's first COVID-19 case. It's a story whereby we go behind the scenes to see who were these people who detected this case. We go to the airport, Uganda Virus Research Institute and Entebbe Grade B. And uh, it's, uh, I'm excited that it's a story that excited the judges at ACME for the national news reporting award. Of course, I would say that I expect it to win <laughs> because, uh, be, because of the time that we put in the story. This is a story where we had reconstructions because some of these events weren't there in real time. So we got the stories and we reconstructed them. I have a feeling this is one thing that, uh, you know, tipped the judges and they said, yeah, because being digital reporting and uh, the modern way of reporting, modern journalism, the illustrations, all these things, I think they come in handy. And the first run-up in the energy and extractive industry category. Uh, it took us time to go on ground and find out uh, the, the, the issues of the local community regarding the entire the mining sector. And I will say it took us about five months to get that story. It's an 18-minute piece. Sometimes uh, it takes long to produce the best story, you know. It's about patience, it's about trying to get the facts right, and I think trying to get the facts right is what has made us be on the podium today. Some of the journalists that were recognized include Henry Okurot, Bernard Iga, and Wadulo Mark, all from the UBC TV newsroom. Other media houses amongst them, New Vision, Next Media, and National Media, scooped several awards. Abdul Nasili Lugwama, UBC News. The health